and welcome to African Do here in beautiful Marrakesh for the Women in Africa Summit. I'm very glad to welcome you back in the discussion with the CEO of the Women in Africa Summit. That's our dear friend Hafsa Tabiola. Welcome to you. How is it going? Are you happy about this third edition of the We Are Summit? So it's so lovely to see you Estelle. And yes, I'm incredibly happy about um, the third edition. You know, in the second edition, we, dis we declared that we believe in women of Africa. We believe that the women of Africa can move Africa forward. In this edition, we've invited the world to come and bear witness to the innovation, the entrepreneurial activity, the dynamism of our women and begin to partner with them. And 80 countries are here represented at the, co at the conference from 27 countries from completely outside of Africa. So for us, this is a huge success and we plan to build on it. Um, you mentioned entrepreneurship. That's a key part, that's part of the discussion here in the Women in Africa uh, Summit. Can you tell us about, uh, more about that? So in the world of women entrepreneurs, the African women entrepreneurs take pride of place. They're more in proportion of women entrepreneurs in Africa than in any other continent of the world. But we also lead the world in the number of um, women entrepreneurs whose businesses fail. So on one hand, we see that our women are bold. They are willing to take risk. On the other, we see that they have challenges that need to be surmounted. So we're providing with our platform a way for us to begin to systematically address these challenges. One of the main challenges is a skills gap. They have um, poor skills. Many times they start their enterprise out of need, not out of passion. They don't, it's not necessarily the case that they see an opportunity and then they rise to create a solution. They may just set up a little shop and they just want to earn a little money. So we're trying to get women to drive more out of opportunity because the opportunities in Africa are immense. You want women uh, African entrepreneurs to be, yes, bold, but more ambitious. Bold, more ambitious and smarter, more system, more strategic. Seize the opportunities the continent offers. We're offering the world hundreds of billions of dollars in consumption every year. Why can our women entrepreneurs not meet that market? Why are we looking to meet small, small market, earn small, small money? If we're going to have a viable private sector in Africa, in the different countries of Africa, we need our African women to build those businesses. We should be building the totals of the future, the Amazons, the um, you know, Procter and Gamble. If all these things can come from Africa, we have the same brains as all the people in the rest of the world. And you would want uh, women, Bill Gates, uh, if Bill Gates in because Africa. I think, and all the data shows, that women do behave differently with money than men. So men have money and they spend about 30% of the money in their communities, on their families. Women spend 75%. And Africa is now rich in the world in terms of people. We have 1.1 billion people, 60% of which are under 30. These people need the training, they need skills, they need education. If women are investing more in families and communities, then who should we empower? if we want Africa to grow. Afsa Tabjola, always pushing the feminist agenda here on the continent. We cannot thank you enough. Good luck for Women in Africa Summit. We'll be with you next year with African Do. Stay tuned on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. We keep the conversation going.